Oh yes, welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions News. It's your Good Friday edition of the news. For a lot of people, this is a bank holiday in England. For a lot of other countries, it's not a bank holiday. But don't be don't be sad. You get Easter Monday. It's a four day thing. But either way, hopefully those that are on holiday at the moment, hopefully those that are having a good time are having a good time. For those, it's a Friday. Thank bloody God, it's Friday. And yes, let's jump into the news. And just before we get into the news, I just want to touch on something. There's one of our fellow subscribers of the Rich Man channel. His mum is going through a very bad time at the moment. She has terminal cancer. And she's got a sister who is doing a race for life. And I'm just wondering if anybody wanted to support this for Cancer Research UK, then please hit the link in the description and give a donation. If you can, that'd be brilliant. Thanks very much for your time. Let's get into the Marvel Contest of Champions news. Our first story begins with the correction to something. This is pretty, well, it's not It's not ridiculously bad, but it's still kind of weird that a message was put out to uncollected people that they could get a six star champion from the newly added featured Cavalier Crystals. Yes, we are upon us with featured Cavalier Crystals. And yes, there's better chances of getting five stars. And yes, five stars are definitely more viable nowadays to get. It's kind of like a Grandmaster Crystal on speed, which is good to see, really positive to see. But uh, yeah, it's a good, it's a good money maker, and they are dropping some amazing champions. So I guess that is kind of positive as well. It's a little bit bummed that three stars are still within those crystals, but hey, it's something I guess. The story up next is based on the new event. Yes, we've got two, which I think one is the standard event that we're used to, and the other one is the kind of reoccurring thing, which looks like it's on a weekly basis. It seems to draw ideas from the initiatives, the recon initiatives that we had but mixed together with a little bit of the Mad Titan stuff where you collect boosts and you're able to boost certain champions to go up against some sort of mission. So that's kind of interesting. It's good to have something that is fairly new and fairly exciting. So we'll see how this plays out. Or I stand corrected and in fact you get the stone for the applicable week. You were then able to do a certain path more easily in the Save the Battle Realm. It's kind of weird and kind of odd to kind of pinpoint what is actually happening. I think we'll have to wait until the game is actually, or the game mode is actually launched in order to get a full idea of what Kabam are trying to give off the idea. But it, it seems like either you've got to wait, wait to week seven to do the last stand uh, in Battle Realm, save the Battle Realm, or it's a case that say each week that you collect the stone, you're able to do a little bit more of something that is there in the, in the beginning. So week one, you get the first champion you go up against, plus the constant content, which is the save the Battle Realm. Like I said, it'd be interesting to see when this comes in as to what is actually going on. But it seems fun, especially considering some of the rewards are actually quite tasty and quite nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm bang up for that. That's pretty cool, especially having these special crystal shards. These greater last stand crystals do look in particularly quite nice. Hell of a lot of gold can be on offer, but let's face it, we don't want gold. We want the decent stuff. We want some units. We want signature stones. The Catus Fragments, yeah, definitely. Tier 2 Alpha, for sure. Definitely Tier 5 Basic, for sure, as well. Decent Crystal Shards, not amazing. And they cost 10,000 apiece. And by the rewards, it looks like you're picking up a good amount as well. There's a good amount of other things of rarity on offer, but I think it's all about these last stand Crystal Shards that players really want to get their hands on. So yeah, whatever difficulty you're managing to get. And obviously, for me, I'm going to try and do 100% of all of it. Try and see something you know, really good being added into the roster. So I'm excited. I'm really excited for what could be um, on offer by the end of these events. And someone's pointed out, yeah, there is a typo because it says infinity crystals or infinity, yeah, infinity crystal shards. So maybe it's a slip up there. Maybe they decided they wanted to call it something else, um, but instead it went for last stand. As you know, yesterday I did a little video covering objectives. If you are interested, go to the link in the description. It will take you there, but that's not the only thing. Well. There was thing that I'm, one thing that I missed, and that was the Champions Index. Mwah! Something after years, it is good to see being added in. A very easier way to select different champions of different rarities, different different types of champions. Uh, maybe even the index will be applicable to saying like hashtag villain, hashtag hero. Something that is really good. So this is like a Pokedex for Marvel Contest of Champions. Champions. So I'm really excited about this and really can't wait till next week to see what it's all about. Check out these new features. Also just bringing you a bit up to speed with the Act 6 rewards issue. 
and that is indeed going out to people. So for those that did 6.1, but found that they weren't receiving any of their rewards and not even the titles, and even the loss of those Cavalier Crystals, Kabam have indeed answered. They've been a little bit slow, but obviously do bear in mind they're working on other content and things. But for a lot of players, they've waited days, which you know is really shitty, and they want to feel that they're getting the lost stuff that they were indeed due. The positive thing is today, and by the last point of last night, they were going out to people to a point that it has actually been agreed that those players will be receiving the lost stuff, so the Cavalier Crystals, the four hour, etc., over those times that they would have indeed lost out for them. So that's really good to see. So good work by Kamam on that one for addressing that particular thing. But obviously it sucks that you nobody could get their, their rewards and it's been days. For a lot of people, it has been five days, four, four or five days since they last received uh, any notification that something was going to happen. So good news. Next up, but it comes to the point that I'm going to be doing some re-reminders about this and also giving you a few tips on how to avoid spoilers in the world of the internet. And that is the fact that Kabam don't want people to spoil Avengers Endgame. They'll obviously do their best to blank things out on the forum, but at the same time, you could be doing your thing as well. If you've got global chat on, do try and block off global chat. Turn it off. If you go into your COG settings and it's just under, under languages, below that language selection, it will be chat enabled. Click off global. So click off global. And people may say, well, why click off global? Because there's going to be some idiots that are going to post up something on there. And it is going to frustrate you because if you don't want any spoilers, don't go on global. Stay on your Alliance chat. Also make sure rooms that you're joined online and as well as Discord and other places. Just make sure to maybe avoid it for the first few days prior to you actually seeing the film. Also, and I can't stress this enough, be wary of certain social media places to go prior to you actually seeing the film. It's important to keep yourself very much locked down with blinkers on so you're avoiding those certain things prior to yourself watching the film. Next up, and a little reminder, Marvel Insider. If you do Marvel Insider each month, do bear in mind because it's a shorter month. If you've not put your points in or kind of claimed your points or started claiming your points, you've got a very short cutoff because it's the 24th of April when it's all done and dusted for this event and we'll obviously get the new event. So make sure you go over to yourself to Marvel Insider and obviously claim your points as soon as possible. Next up in a story that is doing the rounds and it is a story of abuse at a Kabam office. Now, this is something that I've not had to kind of report on or not seen in four years of doing MCOC YouTubing and since obviously the game that's that's come out. Uh, but it is a sad story if this indeed comes to be true. And we obviously have to take this at face value. Even the person posting it says like, you can believe me or not believe me. The fact is this abuse story is pretty bad. I'll put a link in the description to it, but also it shows the process of HR and how in some ways it feels that it has failed this person when it comes to reporting that they're being abused in the workplace or a matter that is all about a relationship with a fellow work colleague. Now what I've done is I've gone to the content contributor program person that I normally speak to and I've said, could you let me know what is going on with this? Is this something that you're aware of? You're aware of, and whether or not, obviously, there's so many different offices. So you could say this is maybe a bad culture or a bad organisation in the Austin office, as opposed to the Vancouver office, which is kind of the the big, the big massive one where we all know that a lot of stuff happens from from the Canada office. So this could be bad business practice there, bad organization, bad HR. I, I don't really know the lay of the land with this, but the fact is it is bad. If you wanna give a full read of this, please go to the link in the description. As somebody that's experienced this myself, uh, for whatever means, and it's something that, that really happened quite, not badly, but it was something that happened to, to me and I was the victim of something in November of last year, to a point that it's just not good. It's just not a happy place. You want to go to work and feel happy where you are and safe where you are. So this is pretty bad. So I spent a lot of time today answering questions that people have had over this whole subject. And as well, this post has been edited. It has taken out links to the stream of tweets that were then outing the in the process, outing the person who it was. Now, I do have the information of who it is. I will not be going up on a witch hunt. I don't think it's advisable for anybody else 
because let's face it, Sam may go down the route of having legal options with this. And if it's a case that it goes any further, then I don't think this will help out the cause. The fact is, I hope that I get an answer from Kabam on the subject. It is not my place to investigate this any further. This is something for their business to then act on and work through. Either way, I hope there is a happy resolve for Sam in this. And also it's a case that there could be positive moves in the Kabam office if this is indeed found out to be true. And when I say positive, I mean in positive change to deal with circumstances and situations like this in a more constructive light. Next up and shout out to Otra because he's been doing a bit of data mining and it may seem that we could be getting some Atlanteans into the game. So this is the more positive post to end on because obviously we've been very serious. So it's nice to see a little bit of positives that Namor might be entering into the game and we may be receiving these characters as well. This has been mentioned, there's also things like Atlantean Coral, which hopefully it could be a case that it's similar. I wouldn't say we're basically the type of tiering of, uh, of crystals. Does this mean that we could be getting some sort of dimensional rift of some kind? It could be the case. Now, unfortunately, they've been a bit trollish to me and a lot of other players in recent years. But it does feel that we haven't had a, dim a dimensional rift or dimensional thing, or maybe this is going to be some sort of vortex thing, because it's kind of water, like an underwater vortex. Type, type situation with Atlantean coral. Don't know, but I'm quite excited to see what this is going to put out. And this more than likely will be June's update and June's champions. But expect that there'll probably be only two of them, or it could be case just one, and maybe another champion is then linked from there. But we'll see when it comes to June what we're going to see. So Atlantean stuff. Pretty cool. So there we go, guys. That has been the Marvel Contest of Champions news for Friday. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know there was a lot of somber things to talk about, a lot of somber things to take in, but there's some exciting stuff in-game coming up, and that's the thing you should really be focusing on. It's a great weekend, a great grinding weekend. Lots on, lots of things to be happy about. It's Easter Sunday. And obviously, for those that are celebrating and having chocolate eggs, just eat your fill, enjoy it. Chocolate's a good antidepressant, so yeah, go for it. Eat all the chocolate you like, but within reason. Maybe moderation as well. Have some veg as well. It is Easter Sunday, so have a nice roast dinner. Lots of videos going out over the weekend. Do bear in mind, a lot of it's pre-recorded, so we can focus on doing some stuff on the house, because when we bought the house, we were like, we need to do a load of stuff to it, and we haven't really got round to it. I've got garden work to do, which I'm really excited about. Just taking a little bit of time away from recording content, but I will be live streaming as normal, normal times, 1900 hours today, as well as 1600 hours on Saturday, and as well Sunday, maybe very late in the day, and then Monday as normal. But thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the content where my hair changes. I have long hair for some reason in some of them, but they're just old content that I had to just push this out. But thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next one. Bye for now.